So here's a quick update. I literally made a video about inflating these and I'm gonna actually deflate them because you'll see, you might be able to see what just happened. So I'm gonna def deflate them. Yeah, until about there. As you can see, they're pretty big. But there's a restriction on these. I'm not sure if it's advertised. So I'll just get, I'll get these deflated. And like I said, I'm just turning this valve to the left. Let me just deflate this guy a little bit before I get talking. I literally was talking about these like a, a split second ago. Let me just deflate them to a acceptable level. I was also talking about, you know, the ones with the red on it or um, are slightly more thicker and the whereas these are a little bit thinner um, I think that's sufficient amount close that one because <clears throat> what I was gonna do is like leave them overnight inflated and I just I was pointing out in the last video that they were kind of like not fully symmetrical all around and they all like have different shapes when they inflate so I'm just uh, I'm just deflating these just before I talk about what just happened. Literally, within like two minutes of ending the the, the video. So this is gonna be a part two, because this is part two within like two minutes. Um, I think that's uh, adequate. So. Here's what that looks like when you over inflate a unit, right? So in the previous video, you saw me inflate this one. So this was the third one I inflated. This was the, the last one that was inflated. And if you go back, to, if you watch that video, you see that I pointed out that this, yeah, it was a little bit bigger. I just deflated it. It's perfectly um, symmetrical, right? It's, uh, you can see it. Um, these ones, like I was saying, these were, again, offset, you know, like you can see this is slightly, slightly offset. Granted, I've deflated them because this one literally just popped, literally just popped. So, um, literally just popped. <laughs> what I do know is that this one was the one that was inflating and it only inflated on one side and this side was just like, flat right it only inflated on one side this side was flat so it i'm not even sure what side it popped on um looking inside of it i mean i don't know if you can see it that that's what inside of it looks like clearly this is uh not planned and uh i'm not gonna go any further i'm not gonna take it apart because i want to actually take some pictures in case i gotta s and send it in or something um Yeah, send it to send it into Redline and ask them, because I've literally had this a few days, and it popped. Granted, it might have not been wise of me to inflate it that much, but it was also weird that it was only inflating on one side. Why is that? You know, looking inside of there, I mean, I don't see anything that stands out. You know, it has this this centerpiece. So, like I said, I I don't want to take it apart right now. But so here's your here's your in your 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 the air that goes in right. It's going in, and here's the where the smoke goes in right. Pretty much two tubes lead into one chamber. One is for smoke and one is for air right. When you literally the side for the air is literally I'm not sure if you can see it. It's it's that opening right there. So when I pump it up, the air is getting pumped right there so the air is obviously more concentrated on one well you say more concentrated the air is entering on one side but it's a it's a it's a it's a sealed compartment with this bladder right here so it should be able to just you know inflate symmetrically but nonetheless this literally just popped so what i'm going to do is 
uh, document it, send them an email, ask them about it. Uh, I do know they sell replacement parts. I do know, like I, in the previous video, I, I mean, I was mentioning this. They sell replacement parts for this little bladder right here. They sell this replacement part, and then you just got to remove these rings right here. Like, slide them down. Right. I mean, I'm going to... I'll make a video on how to replace it, but I just want to document it first before I start doing that, taking the part. Um, yeah. So this is what happens when you overinflate it or when you get a unit that's completely, um, completely defective, I would say. It doesn't, you can't, there's a limitation to how much the diameter that you can inflate it. It's like a balloon, right? It's going to pop. Uh, but I think it was defective as it was. So, you know, I thought I had four. I was going to try it on the car. Now I'm back to a square one. I only have three. I mean, clearly, if you have only a single exhaust, you're going to be fine. If you have a dual exhaust, you'll be fine in this case. But I have a quad exhaust car. So, uh, trying to document this and uh, see how I can get it replaced. Um, yeah. I mean, what can you do? But anyway. This literally popped in like two minutes after ending the the first video, which I wasn't gonna make a part two to this whole process. I was gonna I was gonna show how I was gonna use it. That would have been a different part, but this is gonna be part two of part one, you know, that I did like two minutes ago. Anyway, um, yeah, back to the drawing board. Like I say, like on the whole thing.